three, two, two one. one. Let's go. Torino Very and Virginia start. Tech. Oh, Virginia no. Tech. Virginia Tech's hero not making any motion. Torino it's oddly oh, letting their – sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I just said the hero started moving as you said that. It did. Both teams with a oh. weird little stutter start here. And they just hit their sentry. Uh, Virginia Tech did. No damage done. Both sentries still at 600 HP. A little bit of, of – whoa, some really choppy driver cam. There we go. This is the sentry uh, for Robo Grinder. It's doing something. It thinks it sees something. It's, it's now firing, firing it's at the wall. Maybe they're red vests. I mean, it shouldn't be shooting at red. It's on the red team. Oh, my um, bad. So Virginia Tech's sentry is active, and you know what? It's so loud in the venue now. Uh, I am always a proponent for make your sentry fire something. Exactly. Uh, if your sentry launches some projectiles, it's much scarier for everyone as Torino gets a little bit of poke. They're trying to get some damage onto the sentry, contesting now. Blue standard four, red standard three here in combat. You can see their health as blue standard four dies to overpower. Unfortunate. Red standard three, uh, blue standard three is very weak right now, but it's healing up in its resupply zone. Virginia Tech taking that central buff point. It's going to continue giving them a level lead. Torino, this is what I'm talking about, that experience issue. That resupply zone is big enough for two robots, and they actually die to overpower as they push against their own teammates. That's that's hard to watch. I don't know if you saw that, but the blue sentry, when uh, when the red uh, standard was approaching it, it was able to fire. So that's oh, actually really interesting. Oh, let's check out this Torino sentry. I think it may have fired two projectiles there. It went down to seven, 579. Oh, and now, now we're seeing uh, the balancing standard take advantage of being able to shoot over the wheel. You can see Robo Grinder trying. They're trying oh, they, bounce shots. They're trying bounce, they're trying that's, bounce shots. That's brilliant. Virginia oh my Tech, gosh. 2000 IQ play. They're bouncing projectiles off the wall, ricocheting them onto the armor panels of Torino. What? I, that w I, I didn't even think of that. That was crazy. Thank you so much for that driver camp producers. That was golden. Uh, it, it didn't score a kill or anything, but, but absolute genius play. Uh, a relatively even game here. We've seen, right, we've been saying all, you know, the trades going the direction of Virginia Tech, but Virginia Tech um, trying to just chew through the base shield, not focusing on that sentry. As uh, Red Standard 3, Blue Standard 4, once again in a confrontation and again and going the way of Virginia Tech. Oh! Whoa! That might be a red card against Virginia Tech. They kind of body slam a little bit into the hero i like the flank that they have going on here it's so like so intense yeah as long as your robots are orthogonal the one of the armor panels has to be facing a bot right yeah. so virginia tech taking advantage of that we're now tied on century health two minutes left to play and the game is actually in a perfectly tied state the shield for torino's base protecting them from that next win condition mm. again over Blue standard power. four if they don't if they, if they can fix that they will be in a really good position here as the hero taking these three quarters long shots. There's a hit. They really need to get through that base really quick. Six more. They need six, five more projectiles to get close. Six to do damage. Six to do damage. And once they get that little bit of damage, they're going to be so much ahead. But while that is happening, uh, red, stand, red Sentry is taking a little bit of damage. Blue Standard 3 here contesting against all three bots. Blue Standard 4 dying again to overpower. Oh, they... Blue standard three also going the down. The sentry, the last standing bot on the side of Torino. It is firing it is a little bit low here. But it's still just a little bit like... In the proper direction. In the proper direction. It's firing a little low, but it's like, as long as, as you said, as long as it's getting some... The base for Torino getting chunked down by the hero. Long range. It's down now to 495. Three more projectiles as the sentry health falls on both sides of the map. Sentry health still relatively even. 54 seconds left. This is extremely close. The hero just reloaded with nine more golf balls. Torino's sentry now getting poked down. Torino's blue standard four getting taken out again by overpower limits. And there we go. We got some damage done on blue side base. That that gives red an edge. The sentry for Torino still up. Virginia Tech sticking with their chew through the shield. They don't take the wrapper off their starburst. They just pop them in. It seems that the red... Hero ran out of ammo, so it needs to go back. Virginia Tech using their standard to finish off Torino's base. 100 health remaining, and with 10 seconds left, they will finish off the base to take the victory in the first round. Wow.
Excellent, excellent job. Oh, and now we can see the. Oh, we can see all the ammo light up there for a <laughs> second. That was really sick. All right, a great showing from each team. Uh, if Torino, for some reason, is listening to me, if they'll maybe just use the remote control for their left hand on on blue standard four. Here. If it's not for the groups, two, one. Let's go. Keep an eye on the power draw of blue standard four for Torino. You can see him kind of inching along, indicative of, of maybe someone doing a, the tapping method mm. on the keyboard. It seems that red standard three is loaded and ready to go. Both teams doing a good job of purchasing projectiles relatively quickly. Now in the cockpit of Blue Standard 4, as immediately he gets thrown into the fire, he's got to engage with Red Standard 3. Virginia Tech versus Torino, off with a bang. Oh, and Blue Standard 4 just gets depleted. That's and the really tricky thing. If you trigger that barrel heat, your vision goes blurry while you take damage, and so he wasn't able to see where his opponent was, and he was taken out during that portion. Red Standard 3 is just trying to take some damage off of Blue that Blue Standard 3, though, taking out Red Standard 3. Great job from Torino fighting back. No, sorry. No, no, no. other way around. Red Standard other 3. round. Other, yeah. The base now shielded but exposed. Exposed. Essentially Usually taking we don't two care damage. about that, but for Virginia Tech, uh, they'll, just, they'll just take care of it as their hero loads up seven projectiles. I think they're going to start... Notably, 7 is 1,400 possible damage, so it could get you really close to base damage. As long as they don't miss. Virginia Tech now trading at the top of the standards. Blue standard 3, blue standard 4, both very, very falling very low as blue standard 4 is taken out. Virginia Tech really taking more initiative here. Um, earlier, we saw a, a bit of a closer early game. Oh. Virginia Tech's hero lobbing shots. Full shots across the base. All the way from the resupply zone. They hit two. So note the first one did 200 damage. The second one chipped off the armor panel and only did five damage. Oh, okay. Oh, we can see the base damage in the corner there. I didn't see that. Like the base uh, yeah, shield. Yeah, the base shield is displayed underneath the base once the base is vulnerable. Mm. Torino's standard three back healing up in the base. Just waiting to buy a little bit more of There's ammo. There's a lot of gold available. I'm not sure why he hasn't purchased projectiles. I wonder if they're having a projectile launching issue as or Blue Standard 4 forgot. is thrown back into the fire against Red Standard 3. A strong level advantage for 3 and he will again and kill Blue Standard 4. Mm. That's just going to give them a lot of XP and just kind of snowball their win right there. Shots. Look at this full court. You can see from the resupply zone the hero from Virginia Tech really close. It's not as accurate, but they're getting close. They yeah, but if you're healing while you're taking these shots, <laughs> you can sacrifice a bit of accuracy. And you can instantly buy more ammo when needed, because yep. you're right there. You can just keep spending. Oh, the hero's moving up a little bit on the, the red side. The sentry for Torino does a good job there again at firing at blue, red standard 3. We'll see it again. There it is. It again. Starts launching at red standard 3. A couple stray projectiles hitting their own bot, but that's not a big deal. It's doing a great job. Excellent CV from uh, Torino. After this round, remind me, we'll talk about the difference between the CV and the embedded for the, the Sentry. All right. Because that computer vision is working very well. It is. Now Red Standard 3 deciding to engage again with the Sentry and Blue Standard 4. Red Standard 3, really just an integral part of this team. Virginia Tech has found this excellent strategy against teams where they can. Their standard 1v2s, 1v3s, allowing their hero to just sit back and lob full shots. He's hit another, bringing the base shield down to 1090. The auto aim for Virginia Tech engaged from the HUD, you can see there. They're still chewing through the sentry. This Hero strat is really cool, but might honestly be necessary for Virginia Tech. They're not able to take out this sentry very quickly. Um, yes, Torino's sentry is firing back. Yes, it's spinning. They've done a great job on their sentry, but it's not one of the top four sentries that we've seen in the competition. Exactly. Maybe it's probably number five, to be fair. Number five. So it's like, so it's very important that this strategy for Virginia Tech works, and their their aim is on point from the hero, especially from this resupply zone, because that yeah. just gives them a crazy advantage and allows them to. Um, but with 40 seconds left in the game, Blue Standard Three, I think, has been taken a little bit out of commission here, um, oh and man. now goes off power. It's really difficult as a balancing standard to get up off of a wall. Uh, your motor torque has to be a little bit higher. 
Virginia Tech will come in and finish this off, but the game was really close because technically it's still Sentry Health. I expect that during this sentence it will go to base damage. There it is. And with 15 seconds left, the hero now able to chunk through. This is a strategy that works really well in groups. They're going to have to find something a little bit more advanced as they progress into knockout. But it's good enough for now. Virginia Tech, excellent performance. 2-0 versus Torino. Yeah, it seems that the blue still has a lot of overpower issues. I saw like an overpower on the red right